Thousands of people are hopping into the cars of complete strangers just to get around Charlotte. They're using ride-sharing programs like Uber and Lyft. Eyewitness News reporter Jenna Deary investigated testing it herself, and she found there are some risks involved. From any place in Charlotte, with one tap on a mobile app, Uber or Lyft can pick you up and take you where you want to go. The ride-sharing companies are like taxi companies, except drivers use their personal cars. And their standards for safety are up to Uber and Lyft, not city officials who regulate cab drivers. It says it's going to take about nine minutes for our driver to get here. We took five rides. Cab drivers have to pay $500 for a permit, undergo a background check, and maintain proper insurance. Civil litigation attorney Mike Daisley says most personal policies don't apply if a personal car is being used for business purposes. But Uber and Lyft advertise coverage if a wreck happens while drivers are working. What happens if there's actually an accident or a wreck will remain to be seen, but at least they're indicating to the public that their drivers do have adequate liability insurance. Both services have their skeptics, but they also seem to be attracting many fans, like traveler Patty Cunningham. Oh, yeah. How are oh, yeah. Customers have to rate Uber and Lyft drivers. Four stars or better are required for them to keep driving. The question now is whether local leaders will have a say on how they drive too.